What's up, folks? Welcome to beautiful Circuit of the Americas. It's the iconic tower in the background. Unfortunately, we're not on the real track today. We are doing autocross. So, yeah, anticlimactic, right? No. I love autocross. Texas Spokes SCCA autocross today. So, uh, before we get started, just wanted to make this video because people have asked me what I do with my car, the different mods that I have on it, how do I use it, etc., etc. And this is exactly what I built my car for autocross and track stuff. I've got a little bit more work to do before it's super track ready to be able to go on Coda and be reliable, or tracks like Coda and be reliable. But for autocross, the setup is awesome. I am competitive, and uh, you know. The car only gets better every time I drive it. So a uh, quick rundown of the things that I have done in my car. I have a big turbo, I have the uh, GT2860 RS kit that ATP makes. I have an M-Factory helical LSD, the Brembo six piston big brake kit from uh, BDR Performance, JBR front and rear sway bars, they're the stiffest sway bars that are available for this platform. Massive speed, front and rear strut tower bars. Once again, those are the most rigid bars available for the platform. They're also solid bars. Massive speed, front and rear end links. Um, I have the CPE 5.5 inch intercooler. I have a Mountain racing radiator, a liver noise, performance high performance thermostat sorry it's a super modded z making a bunch of noise i have a liver noise uh low temp thermostat in there as well as the mountain uh upgraded radiator like i said earlier that's just to keep everything cool i've got a radium catch can and baffle plate um d2 rs coilovers all around coney yellow shocks in the rear uh, which are rebound adjustable, which are an amazing, amazing piece of suspension. And I have the RS conversion with the full dual exhaust in the rear as well. So this setup is really competitive for my class. I'm in street modified front wheel drive. Uh, so, you know, I can't wait to get out there and run my heat and uh, we'll see how this goes. Things are looking really good today. I'm running 32 PSI in the front. 37 in the rear the car likes that stays neutral for the most part with a tad bit of a tendency to oversteer at the limit but not bad that's kind of the way i like it um and then on the inside got my snell approved helmet there and the schroth quick fit harness these things are a lifesaver especially especially if you have stock seats st1 seats or st3 seats during autocross you get flung around this is the next best thing to an actual race seat, but I didn't want to lose the safety of the airbag and everything like that. Not just yet. So the Schroth quick fit harness is a godsend. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it, y'all.
I had a massive uh, understeer event um, into corner two. Oh, actually, into out of corner one, I had a massive understeer event. Sorry, I can't think right now. So I think if I nail that down, and all I need to do is just carry less speed into that corner, break a little bit earlier, um, then I can shave my time down even more. My first time was a 40, 40 seconds, almost 40 seconds flat. Uh, it's pretty low for a first time, so I think we can only get better from there. Brakes are nice and warm. They they grabbed really well on the first uh, on the first lap there, which I'm pretty impressed. Sorry, but like I said, we're at Coda, so there's like. Corvettes and Porsches over there on the actual track. We're over here in the autocross paddock. But uh, right now I'm running 32 PSI in the front on my tires and 37 in the rear. So that gives me really nice rotation without um, like any snap, oversteer or anything. So uh, let's just continue to push it. See what we can do. All right. my six runs in my heat now it's time for me to head across and start working the course so that the guys who worked my heat can run their heat the guys and gals but anyway um long story short my fastest run of the day was a 38.91 i believe so 38 seconds 0.91 i was hovering around 39.2 for a while and i finally decided to go all out uh went full track mode um like with the car like took all the nannies off and uh ran the fastest time of the day same psi the whole time 32 in the front 37 in the rear car seems to like that these tires seem to like that these are the kumo extra v720s i've said that a bunch just want to make sure people know what tire i'm tire i'm on um so quick recap this has been an ongoing problem, but uh, it's something that I'm going to address before the beginning of next season. I will need a new brake master cylinder. You can probably see there's some residue from it leaking. I've wiped most of it off, but it's been a very slow, slow leak. You, you can't even tell at the, like the brake fluid stays the same, the brake fluid level, um, but nonetheless, it needs to be replaced. It's just one of those things. I have a 140,000 miles on this car and that's the original brake master cylinder. So, I mean, stuff like that is to be expected. And also this motor mount, you can barely see it right there, but that orange color is actually fluid that has leaked out of the top of that motor mount and hardened um, due to the heat from the engine. So that motor mount is on its way out, even though I have the, the only thing saving it are the motor mount inserts, which is that purple thing in there. That's the PowerFlex motor mount insert. So that's the only thing really saving it. Uh, I plan on upgrading to the full AWR mount set. Um, so that'll be the rear and the two sides, and then just upgrading that completely so I don't have to worry about it, that anymore. So that, that will be a next season modification. And I also plan on just going ahead and redoing the entire suspension. So getting rid of the D2 coilovers. And I want to go with the ground control Coney uh, coilovers with their uh, with the Coney Sport Shocks and the iBox Springs that are also ride height and rebound dampening adjustable. I can't wait to do that modification actually because 
I put the Kony sport shocks in the rear and just doing that made a huge, huge, huge difference in handling. So I can only imagine if I had them on all four corners where I can um, adjust the rebound and just take my uh, handling game to the next level. So I had a great time guys out here um, at Circuit of the Americas. The good people out here at, at uh, Spokes SCCA Autocross um, over here in uh, right outside of Austin, Texas. Beautiful day today. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a uh, window into the into a day of autocrossing of my Focus ST or a Focus ST. There's a couple other Focus STs out here. There's actually a guy from uh, the uh, one of the Facebook pages I run, uh, Grassroot STRS Grassroots Motorsports. I met him out here today, and uh, he recognized the car. We chatted it up for a little bit. Um, I do believe I'm the fo fastest Focus out here today. I believe I'm not sure, um, but I have way more mods. So. Um, so yeah, the weakest link of the car is me. I got to learn how to drive better, but I'm getting there. All right. So, um, until next time, you guys know where to find me. Instagram, track mode, underscore, STR, um, on Facebook, and obviously here on YouTube. I'll keep the videos rolling. All right, guys. See you later.